Close your eyes and watch your breath. The breath comes in and bathes through the body and goes out and bathes through the body. Try to find one spot where it's easiest to observe the energy of the breath and focus your attention there. As the breath comes in, you don't have to move with the breath. Thoughts come in, you don't move with the thoughts either. Sounds come in, you don't go out and deal with the sounds. You just stay right where you are. Give the mind a place where it can be solid within itself, because we live in this world where there's so much change, and we get buffeted around by the winds of change and the, the currents of change. And it's good to find something that doesn't have to change. Come here to the, the monastery every week and see if there's any change in the Dharma. Well, no, there's no change in the Dharma. It's the way it's always been. That gives us some security, gives us a point of reference from which we can look at the west, rest of the world. Think of place in your mind here like a post at the edge of the water, the edge of the ocean. The, the ocean rises and falls with the tides and the waves, but the post doesn't move. That way you can find some peace inside. You're not being pushed around all the time. Otherwise, it's like a, taking the post and just lay, laying it down in, in front of the waves, and the waves will wash it up and wash it down. The tide washes it up and down. If you're not careful, a storm comes and gets blown against a rock and smashed to pieces, or it breaks somebody's arm or somebody's leg as it's moving in and around around the water. If your mind is like that, you don't know what kind of damage it's going to do and what kind of damage it's going to get done to it if you don't have a good, firm place to stand. So give yourself a place to stand here in the present moment. So that when gain comes or loss comes, status comes, status goes, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain, these things can wash over you, but they don't have to move you around. And that way you become more dependable. You've got something dependable inside yourself, and you become more dependable for other people, too. Your actions aren't shaped by the fashions of the time. You're not concerned by what's in the news all the time. You have to look at your news. What's the news inside your mind? Is your mind at peace? Does your mind have some solidity? Is, a, is it a mind that can depend on itself? Okay, that's good news. If not, try to make it that way. Because this is what really matters in your mind. It's not what's happening out there. It's what you do. And what you do and say and think is what matters. And you want that to come from a solid place inside so you can shape your mind well. It's like you're working on an art project here. You want everything to be peaceful around you so you can concentrate fully on doing it well. You don't want to be on a ship that tips and turns with the waves. You want to be on solid ground. It's the same with shaping your life. You want to shape your life in a good way. Well, look at what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're thinking. Are you doing anything that causes harm? Well, you have to change if you want the life to be well-shaped. Are you helping people where you f find that you have the opportunity and the inspiration to do it? If not, okay, that's, some, that's something you can improve as well. Because it's not that just we go through life being harmless, we also want to be helpful when we can. Because that help comes back to us. At the very least, it develops good qualities within our own mind, qualities that we can depend on. So give yourself a good, solid place to stay inside right here. Whatever else is happening in the world, realize you've got your breath, and the breath can be something you can make as comfortable as you like. So if you're feeling ragged, feeling tired, okay, you've got a place where you can restore your energy and gain a sense of well-being inside. So you can learn how to depend on your goodness, because it's your goodness that keeps your life well-shaped. We want good results in our lives, but well, we have to make sure that the causes are right as well. It all starts from here.